afternoon. I welcome my viewers from across the globe today and I want to really thank you for being part of our show. Now, a couple of days ago, the son of uh, Fela Anikula Bokuti, the Afrobeat legend, his son, Sheon Kuti, was uh, uh, seen in a video that is uh, um, circulating on the internet. He was seen assaulting a policeman. And like I said, this video has been circulating on the internet in the last couple of days. And uh, I'm not going to share this uh, video on this platform because I do not want to appear to be promoting uh, violence in any way or form. This channel, this platform, does not promote violence in any shape or form. So if you want to uh, take a look at that video, I would encourage you to uh, go to the internet and um, hopefully you will find it there. However, I am puzzled by the reaction of a number of, uh, of our people. Some have voiced their support for Sheung. Even some celebrities have come out to support what Sheung did. They think that what he did was right. And I want to say clearly on this channel that I really do not think so. Now, there are many reasons why Nigerians love their, their police force. I'm using the word love in quote and unquote. The police are still stopping people on the streets and on the roads, doing what they are not assigned to do. That's a, a reason to not love them. They are still seen collecting money illegally from members of the public. And this in spite of the, the protests of uh, late 2020, the NSAS protest. In fact, the truth is that some people enlist in the police force with the purpose of self-enrichment. They see enlistment in the force as an avenue to enrich themselves. In a typical Nigerian police station, the sign will be boldly written there, bail is free, but you cannot walk out of that police station without parting with your hard-earned uh, uh, money. And then lately, the police have been seen even carrying handbags for wives of, uh, of uh, public office holders or wives of politicians. They carry umbrellas for them. So the police are not even helping their image when we see things like this. Lately also, they have been known to have helped to scuttle the electoral process. They have been seen causing confusion, causing confusion. They have been seen causing confusion in polling units and with the idea of scuttling the mandate of the people. This is a fact that cannot be denied. And then I personally have had an encounter with the police in Lagos. A couple of years ago, I was arrested for driving my own vehicle. The police in Lagos and in Nigeria by extension, they know when a vehicle is newly registered. So on this fateful day, I was stopped. The officer asked me to get out of the car. I did. He requested for documents. I showed him. I showed him everything. Nothing was missing. Then he said, to my surprise, this is a new car. Where did you get the money to buy this car? I was very, very angry, but I kept my cool. Then he said, we will take you to the station, and when you get there, you will explain how you got this car. I couldn't do anything to him because he was armed, so I just followed them to the station. Actually, I was the one that drove my car, and they sat by me, and I drove to the station. And there, at, uh, uh, in, at the station, I was given a piece of paper, and they said I should write a statement. I said, why, why do you want me to st write a statement? Statement about what? I'm not even aware of what offense I have committed. Yet, they refused to let me go. Now, eventually, some of my friends uh, got to know about my ordeal, and they came rushing down to the station to request that I be released. 
They even came with the vehicle purchase papers. The papers are used to buy the vehicle from the dealer. They came with these documents and they still refused to let me go. And then in the corner where they kept me, I overheard them bargaining. My friend was bargaining with them. I heard them say something like June, April. And then my friend said January. Then later he said March. And then after he said March, that was when they now decided to let me go. I was completely ignorant of what was, the, what was being discussed. I didn't know the meaning of their discussion. So it was later when we were driving out, then I asked my friend, what do you guys mean by March and April and June and December? And he said, January means 1,000 Naira. February means 2,000 Naira. March means 3,000 Naira. So you continue to count that. So if you are in December, when the police says December, it means they want 12,000 Naira from you. So even the police, they know that they are committing illegality. And for this reason, they would not want to mention the amount of money they want from you in Naira. So that was, that's the story of my encounter with them. And the same still continues till this day. No one leaves the Nigerian police station without having to part with his money. It does not matter whether you are an offender or whether you are an innocent man being accused of something that you did not do. Uh, but having said that, the view of this channel is that it is not wise to assault a police officer. Whether in Nigeria, whether in Europe, whether in America, there is no wisdom in doing that. It doesn't matter whether the policeman is armed or un unarmed. I would certainly not counsel anybody to assault a policeman on the street. So what Shenwu did is not acceptable at all. The law does not empower the police to assault a member of the public. In the same manner, the law does not permit any member of the public to assault the police. Now, a few weeks ago, I remember there was this video that was circulating online where a police uh, uh, officer was uh, seen assaulting a member of the public somewhere in Port Harcourt. And now that assault was greeted with condemnation. And the officers, what did the IG do? What did the Inspector General of Police do? He summoned those officers to Abuja. They were tried and they were summarily dismissed. That's the way it should be. Now, Shenwu has said in his defense that the policeman involved in this matter tried to kill him and his family. He said, I have proof. I have proof. But I know they chase clout. He said, the man has apologized and he, Shen has agreed not to press charges. And then he said, make a mind on our business. Make the poor guy not lose his job. So if Shen has evidence, if he has proof as stated, then he should have reported the matter to the appropriate authorities and allow the law to take its course. Now the IG of police, the Inspector General of Police, did not take kindly to uh, Shen Kuti's uh, uh, statement. He was not impressed at all. So what did the IG do? He quickly ordered that Shen be arrested. And I'll read a statement from the Lagos State uh, Command PRO, that's the police PRO of Lagos State Command. And in a statement that he released, he said, Shen Kuti, son of Afrobeat legend Fela Kuti on Monday was detained after he reported himself at the Lagos State Police Command Headquarters, Ikeja. And then he went further to say, he has been placed under arrest in line with the law. The command appreciates uh, the public for their concern and assures that the ongoing investigation will be detailed, transparent, professionally pursued, and justice Will be, uh, uh, will be manifestly served for all parties 
involved. This statement uh, uh, is uh, credited to the Twitter handle of Ben Hundein, the Lagos State uh, uh, PRO, that's the Police Command PRO. Now, after Shen handed himself in, we've seen him in photos being paraded as if he has already been convicted of an offence. And I would like the police in Nigeria to know that two wrongs cannot make a right. Your PRO simply said that they will handle the matter professionally. And by that, I would I, the, the way I interpret that is that this matter will be handled according to the law. So the police ought to display utmost professionalism in dealing with the matter. The law ought to guide their conduct. And Shemu's lawyer has since waded into this controversy and the circumstances surrounding his treatment at the police station. I want to read uh, from this day publication of 17th May 2023. That is today. That publication or uh, that story is titled Shemu Kuti. That story is titled Shemu Kuti. Lawyer Fumes says parade handcuff on singer is illegal. Now I read. Now lawyer to the embattled popular Nigerian singer Shen Kuti yesterday fumed and described as illegal the handcuffing and parading of the singer after he submitted himself to the office of a Pol Lagos State Police Commissioner to help with ongoing investigations after hours after a video went viral where he was seen assaulting an officer of the Nigerian police force in Lagos. And the lawyer said, I accompanied him to Ikeja police station with another lawyer, Femi Akinyemi, from Falano and Falano chambers. However, there was no interrogation. As it was decided, he would be moved to the first criminal investigation unit at Anti Yaba. Before his movement, Mr. Shen Kuti was handcuffed and his photograph taken in the open by the Lagos State PPRO, Mr. David Hundein, who coordinated the parade and shared a photograph of his parade in the media. The statement continues, Mr. Kuti is presumed innocent until the contrary is proved by the state. Therefore, the decision of the police to subject him to media par parade violates Section 9 of the Lagos State Administration of Criminal Justice Law, which, was, which has pro prohibited any form of a parade of criminal suspects in Nigeria, in Lagos State. The police are supposed to enforce the law, but prefer to disrespect and break it so casually and randomly. A police institution that has no respect for the law it exists to enforce it's not a good example to alleged lawbreakers. The decision of the police to handcuff Mr. Kuti is equally illegal as it constitutes a violation of Section 5 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Law. So, we conclude by saying that it is likely that Sheung will proceed on trial and we're going to follow the course of events and bring the view of this channel to my viewers and to my subscribers. Now, but what I want to say is this. Please do not assault a police officer, no matter what the provocation is. It is not wise to do so. The police could shoot on the basis of self-defense. And what are you going to do when things like that happen? What are you going to do? I want to thank my viewers for watching. And if you have uh, enjoyed uh, the content, if you have enjoyed uh, what we have uh, done in this video, please consider to subscribe. Also consider to share and consider to like. Because when you do these things, you help to promote this channel and you help to make it grow. Thank you once again. Bye.